These guys are so loud. It's unbelievable. Um, somebody asked me recently how I came to become a keyboard player. How I came to be a keyboard player, I guess. Um, and and it, it dawned on me. They told me. They said, you know, you know, you've never told your story on video about that. And it's it's a particularly very interesting story. So I'm like, okay. Um, I was about two years old. I was watching the, I think it was the Bolshoi Ballet with Mikhail Brushnikov. I was watching either Swan Lake or The Nutcracker, I don't remember, with my parents. I was obsessed with Mikhail Brushnikov as a two-year-old. I don't know why, but I was literally obsessed with him. And I remember uh, the orchestra playing some passage of music. I don't remember what it was, but I remember being two years old, like this, you know, up against the TV. And I had this incredible feeling of vehement opposition to what they were doing. I, I didn't know, I don't think I knew the words to describe that I thought it was bad. I didn't like it. And I just, I knew at that moment, I thought, well, I'm gonna big fat figure out how to do this better than them. And luckily my grandmother was a Juilliard graduate. She had been a composer and a conductor and uh, she did some film scoring and things. And so when she realized she kind of picked up on where I was going with this, I think, and took a shot and sat with me and we started playing. Um, and one of the first pieces that I learned to play, I was only, I was about two and a half years old, was uh, the, the Nutcracker Suite. So there I was at two and a half, playing the Nutcracker Suite, firmly committed to the idea <laughs> of doing this better so that Mikhail Baryshnikov could dance um, more happily, uh, and so that's that's sort of what what took me on this path. I, I I'm still not sure why that uh, why that occurred, but that's that's the actual single-handed moment when I when I realized ah this is 